Hey everybody, Rick's here. and We're going to do a, an artist critique on a drawing. This is actually the reference photo. There's the drawing. Alright, let's get right into it. Okay, so let me just put these little puppies side by side there so you all can get a good look. All right. Now there's the reference photo. This, of course, was printed out on my laser printer, so it's not really photo quality as a printout, but it'll do the trick for a critique. And this here is the drawing. You can see the artist did a really good job. It definitely looks like the original over here. There are just a few things that we need to go over here to point out, to just bring this up so that this would be a photorealistic to be like this right here. All right, so let's start with proportion. That's the first thing I always like to look at. And for the most part, the proportions look pretty good. Now I've uh, printed this at the as close to scale as I could so it's actually going to be the shapes themselves that I'm going to be pointing out now if you can see here the printout isn't that great unfortunately if, uh, the original uh, upload the photos were only this big and I had to blow them up um, I might make a note on my uh, drawing group to kind of use a little bit larger um, resolution so that if I if I want to blow them up like this it will you know come out a higher quality but anyway over here take a look at the edge of the nose and the edge of the cheek then come over here and you take a look at the edge of the nose and the edge of the cheek you can see it's right there so we have a proportion issue here where this cheek comes out way too bubbly in comparison to this one right here so this would be one area to look at another area is the chin if you'll notice the shape of the chin comes down with this S shape okay there's much more distance of this S shape from here to here than there is from here. Right here, it's not an S shape because it, it comes in rounded here and then it goes rounded here. This comes in rounded here and then it goes inside and rounds inward like making a cleft. So uh, this, this here needs to go this way rather than this way. So these are little details that need to be followed. If you'll see where the, it comes in right here, see the distance between where it comes in and the bottom of the lip. Then you see where it comes in here and the bottom of this lip. You have way more you know, uh, distance here of the um, cheek showing than you have here. So we have the shape needs to come in and then it needs to curl out like this as opposed to outwards and then it comes down and should then curl up as it does here it curls up really good and makes this inward it should curl up and do the same here as well before coming out all right the other thing that I had noticed was the ear in the ear here and making sure that this is straight for the camera you'll see that this is pretty much a vertical move here okay other than the small curve in you you're pretty much going this way straight up but over here in this drawing you can see that one we don't have that full turn here but then we are not going up we're in an angle this way so that is not matching this over here and again we're talking small details but it's the small details that really matter 
Now let's take a look at up here at the plastic uh, clip thing for the hat, the back of the hat, and notice the uh, how wide that is. Notice the detail of that. Here we have a much wider and yet much shorter than from here to here. So the measurement of this is off compared to here. I also notice that the texturing here is kind of this with a, with a blend to, to blur it out. Where this is more of a dotted texture, it's harder to do. Well, I have a video on this somewhere, but uh, this, if you achieve this actual look here, you'll make it more realistic. Here, it gives it away that it's a drawing because real life hats don't have pencil lines going like this. Okay, so that is a thing that I also wanted to point out. Another thing too is you have to be careful with heavy lines. So we're gonna move into the heavy lines part here because I have a video that says no lines and you need to avoid lines uh, that gives it that cartoon look in a lot of pencil drawings and you want to avoid that if you're going for realism. So again, and we're back in the fabric and again the fabric all applies just like the hat. Okay, it's it's these lines and then you blur it out as opposed to actually trying to draw the pattern that you see in here, which, you know, is simply putting down a base tone, uh, put in some your darks and then start marking out your lights and then you'll get your pattern. Uh, this is kind of a quick way of getting through it, but unfortunately, you're bypassing an opportunity here. But here are the lines. Look on the outside of a person, whether it's his coat, skin, whatever the case may be. There are no lines. There are no lines. Okay, here, and especially in the, in the uh, online, when I was looking at it online, the printout doesn't show it as well, but it does show it you'll see that there's this dark line that outlines this garment. This is what causes the drawing to have a 2D look to it rather than a 3D look, is when you put these high contrast lines, like right here, this very high contrast lines in here, rather than having the shade of the uh, fabric itself, the light variants make what is the end of something and the beginning of something else. For example, if you look at the original, you're going from a mid-tone into a lighter tone here as it rounds the corner because it's, you know, it's a 3D body, right? I know it's a 2D printout, but the person here you can see by because of the lighting is 3D, which gives it, of course, uh, the obvious photo look because it is a photo. It's the same thing with the fingers. You come in from a dark area and as you come out, it goes lighter and lighter and lighter until it's in the light. And then as it rounds a corner, it goes back into the recesses of the dark area. It gets darker and darker. Here, the lines are really drastically drawn in just drawn in, but there is no coming lighter and lighter outwards into the light, which needs to be done if you want to give it that, that rounded out look rather than being a flat 2D drawing, you want round fingers because, you know, our fingers are round. So all these areas here where you have all these dark lines, they're just lines. They're not actually showing the uh, roundness of coming out of a deep area out into the light. And that's why you need to avoid drawing in these lines. For example, this hat here has this dark area here. This is not a line and it's not to be drawn in as a line. Okay, this is a shade. It's, it's away from the light, but as it comes into the light, you'll see it gets lighter and lighter until it's in full lit right here. And this here makes it look like shadow 
and not a line. So you want it to look like shadow, not a line. So you want to avoid these hard lines here. You have this hard lines here, hard lines around the neck here. It's not as bad uh, here. This here really stood out to me though. You have to really avoid these these are it's like it's like you get your kids coloring book and they got those dark black lines and you color in the lines that's what you need to avoid uh, to get more realism so avoid these dark lines here and that really helps as well all right well that's just a couple of things that I want to point out otherwise it's a really great drawing uh, something to be very proud of uh, we're trying to achieve realism and so the points that I'm just bringing out or if you want to get it from here to here. All right, well, thanks for watching. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe. Click the notification bell so it goes ding, and you'll be notified of future videos. Please give me a like because the more likes I can get, it pushes these videos up to the top because YouTube just has so many billions of videos that it just drowns us out. And I thank you. Comment down below if you have any thoughts, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.